Hi there, thanks so much for having me to the good people at the Circular Innovation Council. My name is Andrea Curtis and I'm a writer. I write books for children and grown-ups too. I was writing a series of books about sustainability and cities when I started talking to a friend who works in the circular economy. I actually didn't know what he was talking about, to be honest. But when I started to do some research, I realized I knew exactly. I didn't recognize the term, but I've been trying to implement circular principles in my own life for a very long time. I stitch and sew, save and repair. I work hard to limit the single use items I bring into my home. I ride my bike everywhere. And as a parent of two boys and someone who actually goes often into schools to talk to young readers, I knew that kids would also totally understand. It's maybe even more intuitive to children than to adults who've been raised in this linear system for so much longer. So I wrote this book, Loop de Loop, Circular Solutions for a Waste-Free World. And my intention with writing this book for ages six to nine is to be encouraging and hopeful, giving young readers ideas and support and even some fun. So I'm gonna to read to you a bit from Loop de Loop. Loop de Loop, Circular Solutions for a Waste-Free World, published by Groundwood Books, written by Andrea Curtis, illustrated by Rose Bowes. Circles are all around us. They're in the sun, rising up from the horizon into the big blue sky. A dizzy whizzy twirling in the park. A ripple in a puddle from a drop of rain. The rings on the inside of a tree track its growth. We cycle through the seasons, the earth circles around the sun. Nature works on a cycle too. Plants and trees spring from the earth and borrow nutrients from the soil and sky. Together they sprout and bloom, giving back to the places they live and to the creatures who share their home. Then when the plants and animals die, they continue to feed the system. And so it begins again. Everything in this loop has value and nothing is wasted. Modern humans have created a different kind of system. It's less like a circle and more like a line. We take, make, use. Then when those things break or we're finished with them, we toss them away. But our planet's resources are limited and we've taken too much. We've made more than we can use. The water, air, and soil are polluted because we stopped taking care. And many of the things we throw away won't break down. Instead, they pile up, up, up. But all over the planet, people are rediscovering a better way to live. We're finding inspiration in the circles all around us and working to protect the earth. We're going way beyond recycling. We're getting rid of trash altogether. We're building a loop-de-loop -loop world where the cycle of nature is our guide. Of course, we still need some things, but in a loop-de-loop -loop world, we'll look at the entire cycle. We'll explore everything from where we source materials to how we build, move, and use our stuff. And we won't just throw things away when we grow bored or they become glitchy. Instead, at every part of the cycle, we'll find ways to design waste out of the system. In a loop-de-loop -loop world, we'll sew patches on jeans and darn holes in sweaters. We'll fix a dent or a ding and clean up stains. We'll stitch and scrub and saw and save. We'll swap and trade the things we don't need. We'll buy second hand and re-gift old treasures. We'll discover beauty in the perfectly imperfect. Could you find joy in rescuing things from being tossed in the trash? The loop-de-loop -loop world is full of hope jam-packed with possibility. 
bursting with promise. When we take care of the air, land, and water we share, we will be healthier and stronger. We'll be more connected to each other and to the earth. We'll remember that we aren't separate from nature. We are nature. There are circles all around us, and we are part of the circle too. Thank you so much for listening. A big part of why I write books for young readers is because I want them to feel that they have the ability to make change in the world and to make our planet a better place for everyone. There are tons of suggestions in the back of Loop de Loop about how kids can get started, as well as examples of cool circular thinking around the world. If you wanna bring this book into your classroom, please check out my website at andreacurtiskids.ca. I've also posted a free teacher resource that I created with a teacher friend here in Toronto. There are curriculum connections, there are extra resources, printables, and tons of ideas about how to extend learning on the circular economy. Thanks so much for having me.